Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the 31st of August, Friday, 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, certainly uh, European markets uh, hit hard, given the fact that Asian markets down overnight in the back of Mr. Trump's potential uh, speech or uh, interview there, uh, basically st uh, threatening to pull out the World Trade Organization again, disrupting the whole uh, global economic framework. Okay, also rejecting a tra European Union's offer of zero uh, tariffs. Okay, so again, that certainly threw everything out the equation to so the whole rally in Europe recently, certainly negated altogether as well. So again, European markets hit hard there. Also, German retail sales certainly missed, Spanish retail sales missed as well. Uh, inflation numbers certainly not where they want it to be and uh, also Mr. Nowotny's no hawkish comments arguing that negative rates uh, are basically no longer needed in, in Europe so certainly seems like they're uh, obviously um, uh, indicating towards a whole hawkish stance going forward so again all of those arguments together certainly indicate risk off and certainly hurt the uh, markets as well the FTSE 100 certainly in, a, in free fall given the fact that uh, ongoing concerns regarding Brexit obviously the uh, strength in the GBP as well uh, that certainly is hurting uh, the equity market and again Chinese concerns given the fact that Mr Trump threatened further 200 billion worth of uh, dollars worth of sanctions so everything and also given the fact that Mr Trump did uh, want to label China a currency manipulator so again Mr Trump crying regarding the currency as well okay so all those arguments added together well, obviously, it could signal risk off and cause the markets to certainly go into a swoon. Okay, so uh, again, let's look at the technical picture now, given the fact that that's basically the uh, summation of fundamentals. Uh, German DAX, as you can see here, flush lower. Uh, it is uh, desperately trying to hold on to this key support zone here around the 12,350. Uh, after hours, it's a slightly uh, uptick here after hours, but at the moment, we're certainly desperately trying to hold that key support. 60 minute chart as well you got key support around that 12350 zone if that cracks then you are eventually going down to gap fill at 12200 so watch out below in terms of the german dax for french cac french cac certainly weak as well today ever since it held that gap fill uh, as you can see the market certainly has reversed quite sharply the next potential gap fill is seen at uh, 5345 so certainly bear that in mind okay uh 60 minute chart certainly is no, is no man's land the only real support now is seen at 5370 which is gap fill, and obviously you've got 5345 gap fill as well. So French GAC certainly vulnerable as well. FTSE 100, like I said, as you can see here, certainly got, went into a um, collapse mode, okay? So liquidation mode on the FTSE, uh, failed to close that gap above at 7560. Daily chart certainly depicts that as well, as you can see, broke that key support, which is around the 7500. Again, there's no potential real technical support now down to uh, 7300 on the FTSE. So it isn't looking good at all for the FTSE, okay? So bear that in mind. In terms of the 10 minute chart, I'll give you a sort of a, a more of a microscopic view ever since we broke that key support that was being defended at 7470. The FTSE has gone into free fall. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really. European markets certainly under pressure, looking for US markets now to lead. Uh, S&P 500, uh, as you can see, daily chart certainly remains vulnerable as well. The 10 minute chart, we're certainly attempting to hold uh, this key support zone ever since we close the gap. Uh, horizontal support below is seen around the 28.95 zone. So watch out 28.95, let's see if we can hold that. Previous uh, support equals resistance as well around the 29.05. You've got gap fill still uh, left open at 29.13 and the real potential pivot high is seen around the uh, 2.916 on the S&P. So has been quite an impressive thrust so far. Okay, so let's see if we can actually really go into liquidation mode and close the gap at 28.75. That will be the real test. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Be sure to download the app and uh, certainly uh, take advantage of that bonus with CFDs.com. Goodbye now.